How's it going everyone? My name is Nathan and today I will be showing you how to use the light sync presets option in G-Hub. All right, so we're here, we are in the main area. Um, here is where they're gonna show you all the items you have that work with the G-Hub. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And this right here is light sync. We have our three options, light sync, assignments, and game mode, but today we're just gonna be talking about light sync. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with preset. Preset is pretty basic, probably the one that has the least amount of options, but it is really cool. So we have our effects and our colors. So the options down here somewhat change depending on what effects we're using. So we'll go ahead and start off with effects. We have fixed, which of course is just the one color. Uh, this is how you change the colors. You can slide it to whatever you want. You can adjust it to more of like a lighter tone of pink if you want or black whatever you want you can also if you really like a color let's say i want a green but i don't i want it to be more of like a dark green you can then add this color right there so now that color is there and you can reference it when you want to change something else all right so let's go to the next effect we have cycle cycle just changes the you know, it goes through every single color at a certain pace, and this is how you change the pace or rate, whatever you want to call it. Um, all the way to the left is going to make it slower at 20,000 milliseconds. All the way to the right, you get 1,000 milliseconds, and it changes super quick. Um, and anywhere in between. You can do whatever you want to do with that. Next effect, we got color wave. This one lets you change the actual cycle option. So as you can see, it's horizontal, so it's going to go to the right. You can change it to vertical so it goes up and down. Um, you know, reverse, horizontal, reverse, center out, center in. So they all, you know, there's a lot of cool color options, uh, for, or I should say cycle options for this one. Different rates you can make. And uh, it kind of just goes on like that. There's a bunch of different effects that you can use that have the different rates. Some of them give you a color, like let's say Echo Press. This one's one of my favorite ones. This one gives you a color, let's say we want solid red. And then as far as the echo press goes, that's the echo color. You can have the uh, the light blue like they're giving you here. And then as you can see, green, I'm gonna go ahead and press F here. And you can see it changes to a blue. I'm gonna set that to the longest it can stay up. I'll press it again right here. So we got F and it just stays blue. It stays for as long as we set it for. And we can, of course, change it to where it does it a lot quicker. F, D, you know. And again, you can change it to whatever color you want. Either color. You, let's change the, the Echo Press to green. We'll do F again. Boom. F, D, and C. Yeah. So they got the cool different effects. And that's pretty much it. You can change, like I said, any of the effects, some of the colors on it, and some of the, um, some of the rates and cycles. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video helped someone. If it did, please leave a like. You guys have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll see you next video.